Hey guys, uh, Patrick here, Golf Skate Cat USA. What we're looking at here is a broken thumb throttle. As you can see, it's stuck in reverse. And uh, there's two things that may cause this, and I'm gonna show you guys how to get it repaired fairly quickly. Before we open this up, I just wanted to point out that this is the uh, plastic mode that we are going to be working with. And when you open it up here, you have two sides. This one here holds the circuit board, and this one here holds the springs. But what I do wanted to point out is that this particular section here is called a reinforcement. This is something we've done to make sure that the uh, throttle doesn't get sticky. So one of the first things uh, you guys want to do when you open it up, this is going to be an old model here, so I can show you the comparison. This is the new one. As you can see, there's a reinforcement right there, and on the old one, there's only one single piece. The moment you open that up, if you see that your casing does not have the reinforcement like such, please let us know so we can send you a replacement right away. But for the most part, all of you guys should have already the reinforcements. Okay, I just wanted to point that out. Next, what we're going to be doing here is actually replacing these parts right here. Actually, this black piece is the plastic piece that sometimes breaks on impact and it causes the unit to get stuck in reverse. So we're going to be replacing that piece for our brand new piece right here that it's now made out of aluminum, okay? Much stronger and it will never break. All right, so let's get started. All right, we've got our thumb throttle back here, uh, as you can see, you know, stuck in reverse. The first thing we want to do is to remove these two screws right here. You're going to need a small uh, Phillips a screwdriver to do that. And then very easily here, you just remove these quickly, like so. Second one. get it out of there okay now what you're going to do is uh, flip it to the side here and just uh, take it apart like that you will see the circuit board right up there so we'll get this out of the way the circuit board goes like this okay and uh, this particular white piece here is supposed to be at 12 o'clock so as you can see right now it was supposed to be like that otherwise you're engaging the reverse so basically you take the the circuit board out very easy comes in and out very easily like that and then in here you've got a upper spring mechanism and a lower we don't want to worry about this we don't want to touch it. the only thing we're going to be doing is actually replacing that piece which is broken and in here now for a new one so what you want to do now is put your thumb on top of the throttle like that to hold it in place and we are going to be removing that screw right there using the same screwdriver we had. So you just get it out. Keep your finger there so it doesn't snap apart. Alright, so the screw comes off just like so. And now what you want to do is just hold it like that. Uh, get the bottom of the piece here and lift it off of that little notch, just like so, and just push it out like that. Perfect. Try to keep this in place, so it's a little bit easier that way, so keep your finger there. As you can see now here, we've got a spring, and we've got the broken piece in there. So the next move is just to remove the spring. There she is. We'll put her aside. And here we have the piece that we are talking about. As you guys can see, it's broken. Here's what it's supposed to look like. And then here is the broken one. And now here is the all new aluminum piece that is gonna be replacing that and it will not break. Trust me, you cannot break this. So what we're gonna do is you keep your thumb there. You're going to put the new part in and remember, the reinforcement here we talked about earlier, it's there, so that's a good one. So this is gonna be good and it's not going to break. Now we get the new shiny 
aluminum piece here, we place it right there, just like so, okay? And then we put the spring back on. So we get the spring here and just put it like so, just like that, okay? So now you've got your part in there, you've got your spring here, and now you're going to flip it to the side once again. And the secret here is with the uh, indicator finger here to pull the spring in place like that, and then bring that little plastic over and push it in just like so, okay? And now you get your screw, you get this, keep your finger here always at all times, you could snap. If that happens, call me, I'll help you out. Put your screw back on, just like so. And at this moment here, once you get the screw in, you can actually release this thumb and you will see the new mechanism in place, bringing the throttle back to neutral the way we want it. And uh, no more problems of breakage. So this is where you want to be. As you can see, the spring is right there going behind the screw and the new part is in place. Now the next thing you want to do now is to put your circuit board back in position. So we'll go ahead and uh, grab that and you will see now that the little white piece we talked about earlier, it's now positioned at 12 o'clock. This is a good way to tell it as well by the upper spring and uh, the function here is to move that circuit board up and down like that and also to be able to return to neutral once you let it go. So you just hold this in place like that and then you get your outer casing, the, oh, not this one, sorry, this one right here, right? And then just hold your finger there, it's pretty easy, and just put this on top, let it go, and uh, there you have it. Now we put these uh, screws back on very quickly here. This doesn't take much time, it's not that hard, and will save you a lot of headaches out um, on the golf course, of course. So we get this closed in. And that's it, my friends. We have a fully repaired um, thumb throttle, as you can see, going back into place, going forward and back as well. This is very strong. You can see the metal piece in there. If it hits like that, it will not break ever again. So that's how you upgrade your thumb throttle. I hope this video was helpful. For any more questions, call us here at the office or go to golfskatecaddy.com. Thank you for watching.